So thank you. I'm, uh, my name is Brian Olson. I'm a member of the Department of Agri Agri Agribusiness and Agricultural Economics here at the University of Manitoba. And uh, this is a real treat in my career is being associated with the uh, whole uh, Kraft Foundation effort and as one of the efforts uh, or within that umbrella is the craft lecture, and this is the 10th annual craft lecture. And uh, I have to admit something today uh, in terms of uh, trying to get advertisement out for our speaker, Dan Sumner. Um, I, uh, along with my associates, surrender, tried our best for the lecture, but Dan had another uh, seminar this afternoon. And we decided it might be dangerous to do too good a job in terms of getting the word out that Dan was giving a, a seminar on marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> and so a few of us had the treat to, uh, uh, to have Dan give a seminar in terms of the marijuana experience so far in California, uh, where uh, we started way behind them, but we've now left them in our dust. <laughs> and so uh, it was very interesting hearing Dan uh, uh, discuss that. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll get a, a better introduction to Dan in just a minute. Uh, we're going to try to go through the uh, program uh, fairly quickly today uh, in terms of the uh, early introduction. And so I'm going to say a few words here. And uh, we'll likely, uh, we likely go till 4.30. Uh, and I think Dan will be more or less finished his full presentation by something like 4.10 and that'll leave us another 20 minutes or so for, uh, for questions. And, uh, and so, uh, in terms of, uh, of welcome, welcome. And I'd like to just sort of uh, mention a few individuals here. First of all, I'd like to welcome those who haven't been to this craft lecture before. I hope that you enjoy it so much that uh, you'll be with us like many of the individuals who some stumbled onto this lecture a long time ago. Such uh, my friend Craig, I was talking to him, I think he's here just about every year, and has been here every year, and a number of other individuals uh, along similar lines. Um, and to the returning craft lecture friends, thank you for your continued support of this effort. The Dean's office is represented uh, quite uh, handedly here today, I think. And uh, Dean Wittenberg is, uh, is here in the audience. And thank you for your support for this effort, uh, Dean. It's uh, been a real help to us. Um, and uh, welcome staff, both the academics and the office staff, uh, for their uh, support and attendance of this function. Students. Thank you, students, for, uh, for being here. And uh, I hope that this is uh, an example of some of the great types of functions that are held at the University of Manitoba. Uh, and uh, for uh, those <coughs> students that are in one of my classes, uh, you know, thank you for your support on, uh, on coming to this function as well. Uh, friends of Daryl and colleagues of Daryl, uh, I don't have to really say much, uh, uh, you know, about that, that support for this function. Uh, we uh, all have that deep friendship and uh, remembrance of Daryl, so thank you for being here. And uh, particularly those, and there's a number that were, that were involved in the initial fundraising, and it's so nice to see you all again in terms of, uh, of those individuals who know who they are. Uh, and so thank you for that initial fundraising effort and, uh, and, and your continued support. And uh, then uh, finally, uh, the family. We'll wait for Bob and Judy to get some seats here. <laughs> and finally, uh, the family. Uh, Daryl's wife, Myrna, son, Dar uh, son Danny, and, and wife Maya, and uh, another family member, there's other family, but I'll just uh, mention one other family member, Pat, who uh, came in from Vancouver, and, uh, and so thank, I did get it right, Vancouver. Well, I went 
Salmon Arm. Oh, Salmon Arm. Okay, yes. How can I forget Salmon Arm? Uh, and so thank you for coming here for British Columbia, Patty. And so with that, then I'm going to move on to the next piece of the program. And uh, that's our department head, Derek Bruin, uh, who uh, will just sort of uh, give uh, some thoughts in terms of Daryl Craft, the person, the educator, and the agriculture policy guy. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Thank you for 10 years of efforts on this, uh, this, this uh, talk and the efforts for the, the Craft Foundation. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for coming. I think you're uh, in for a thought-provoking presentation, and I don't want to delay that too much, but I am. it's my honor to talk a little bit about the legacy of Dr. Daryl Kraft. Daryl was born in 1945. He was uh, raised on a ranch southwest of Medicine Hat, Alberta, God's country. In uh, 1968, he graduated from the University of Manitoba with a bachelor's degree in agricultural economics, and he was awarded a PhD in agricultural economics from Washington State University. His PhD dissertation was named the best in the United States by the uh, um, American Agricultural Economics Association. He joined our department in 1973, over 30 years. Over the next 30 years, Daryl Kraft emerged as an outstanding educator and leading researcher in our, in our area. He had a gift for clear analysis and his work encompassed a broad range of substantial studies on rural real estate markets, agricultural production, various dimensions of agricultural policy, and international trade, very similar to tonight's speaker. Darrell's uh, excellence in research was recognized by the Canadian Ag Economic Society, who named him a fellow in 1999. Dr. Kraft knew the details of many institutions in Canada and Manitoba's food chains. He uh, was known for his research in, and service with numerous cooperatives, dairy boards, the Manitoba Rural Adaptation Council, the Winnipeg Commodity Exchange. He worked on the World Grain Outlook Conference and the Agriculture Committee uh, of the Manitoba Chamber of Commerce and the Cereal Processing Committee of Agriculture Canada. He received the Teaching Award of Merit from the National Association of Colleges and Teachers in, of Agriculture. Uh, and he worked on our Senate, and as at, in our, within our department, he served as the head from 1997 until he passed away. Darrell's legacy included teaching policy to some 2,000 students in the classroom. He also uh, supervised 40 graduate students and influenced our discipline with insightful, clear, articulate policy papers and presentations. He had a knack for explaining policy issues in a way that led to understanding those issues for students, for journalists, uh, for pundits, all, all through our supply chain. Dr. Summer has a similar reputation. And I recommend his Econ Talks podcast, very good overview of agriculture in, in the US. Dr. Kraft was known for his ability to quickly identify where pundits were going wrong and setting them straight. That was his wheelhouse. He was an excellent teacher and an analyst of Canadian Ag Policy, and I was lucky to see that up close when he uh, presented on things like supply management, railway transportation rates, support for ethanol, and the performance of the CWB. And he had a, another special thing about him, that he had these very divisive debates, but was still friends with some of the people who were on the other side of the debate years later. Uh, in addition to funding this lecture every year for the last 10 years, the endowment provides a prize to agricultural policy paper uh, in, in a graduate class for, for a student every year and a fellowship for a graduate student every year. And this year's policy paper was won by Mr. Mitchell Armstrong. Is Mitchell here? I think Mitchell is uh, in a job interview right now. <laughs> that's because that's, that's, we train them really well. He, he said he wasn't sure he could, he could come. The graduate fellowship was won by Ms. Uh, Michelin LaHayat. Is Michelin here? Yeah, I'm right here. And did I see your name close to right? OK, good. <laughs> you, would you stand up? And is, was there any other award winners, the paper award winners? The inaugural award, the paper award winners at the top corner. Uh, yeah, all of you. Anybody else who's won an award from, from the fellowship? I, I know that Matt's here, and, uh, and Garrett Swatsky is here. 
Uh, and has anybody that, that took classes from Daryl? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you, you are part of the legacy now. All right. Uh, just want to let you know that the past uh, uh, lectures are on our website, and, and Dr. Summers will be on our website. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of the. Thank you, Derek. Very fitting remembrance of uh, Daryl. And uh, I'd now like to introduce you to uh, one of the family members. The family members have been here uh, steadfastly through each one of these seminars, and, uh, and uh, it's been such wonderful support uh, working uh, with, with the family uh, on, on this function and on the uh, old endowment. And, uh, and so I'm going to call Daryl's son, Dan, up for uh...